edition of Corazon Presents. Hi, I'm Richard Montes, and welcome to Managua, Nicaragua. I just arrived here yesterday from Lima, Peru, and today we begin auditions for The Hiding Place, a new show that we'll be doing to reach the citizens and the people of Managua in the month of March. But for now, I want to show you all that the Lord did the month, in the month of uh, February in Peru. Here's a short report. I arrived in Peru the middle of January and fell in love with the beauty of Peru. However, I was surprised to learn that there are two Perus, a very modern and beautiful city in the south made up of 20% of the population and a very poor city in the north made up of 80% of the rest of the people. I would be working with Santa Samuel, my friend and brilliant choreographer from my home church in Dallas, Texas. She would be heading the dancing parts of the festival. Angel Sanchez from Madrid, Spain was a coordinator for the event, and Ray Laudencia, also from Madrid, Spain, would be heading the mime teams for the festival. We went right into auditions, and I began selecting the team that would act. When I arrived into Lima, I learned that the coordinator hadn't coordinated anything, so I began some serious meetings with the pastors to begin to plan out the event. Somebody had to. We went right to work, and the pastors from the north were eager to be involved. The coordinator wanted to be in charge, although he would leave the city on business for days on end and therefore left the pastors, the leaders, and me frustrated. Sanja and I led rehearsals but felt so helpless. It was definitely a spiritual battle. However, the leaders in the churches went to prayer and the prayers worked. The Lord sent an amazing man, José Luis, who is a professional actor of stage, film, and television, to join me in the production. He set up some television interviews for us and headed the publicity. Soon I was appearing on radio and television interviews by myself and also with the rest of the leadership team. Rehearsals continued and the actors were hard at work and the pastors did their share as they built all the sets. Ken and Marjorie Bell arrived and went to work, Marjorie with the costumes and Ken helping with the sets and the uh, setup of all the scenery. It was the week of the show and the pastors were hard at work mounting the scaffolding for the event. The coordinator fought the setup, but with the support of the pastors, we were able to move forward. The pastors continued to mount the sets and when sound and lights arrived, I was able to direct them where I wanted everything to go. We were on our way. The Lord had blessed us by creating a theater out of nothing thanks to some hard-working pastors. God bless them. The show was finally upon us, and in just two weeks' time, we went from nothing to an entire beautiful stage. Thank you, Lord. The audience arrived, and we had approximately 4,000 people attend each night. The dances were colorful, and the drama was powerful. We presented the judgment seat, and the people in the poor area of the North had never seen anything like this, so they were so touched. Best of all, they responded to the altar call. Hundreds came forward each night for a total of over 800 salvations. Praise the Lord. I'm so grateful to the Lord for giving those poor people of the North a chance to use their gifts of drama and dance. The next day, I flew to Cusco, then took a train to Aguas Calientes to see the world famous Machu Picchu. I had always heard about it, seen pictures and read about it, but to now be there was a dream come true. It's impossible to describe Machu Picchu, but I can definitely say that it is something everyone must see in their lifetime. I met some wonderful new friends there, and then I came back to Lima to work with Jose Luis about some future projects in Peru. I said goodbye to everyone and flew on to Nicaragua. I arrived and was met by friends Pablo Lopez and Pastor Milton Aguilar, who will serve as coordinators for the show. We went by Milton's church to see the remodeling. The place was dark and locked, but when he opened the door, the church was filled with people who yelled, surprise! <laughs> Everyone greeted me, and then we had cake. What a nice welcome to Nicaragua. Well, as you can see, it was a great surprise. Isn't that a great blessing to arrive in Nicaragua with so many friends? Well, you're gonna see that this is the National Theater, Ruben Dario, where we're gonna be presenting The Hiding Place the month of March here in Managua, Nicaragua. And uh, for right now, though, we're go we were beginning auditions and then going into rehearsals as we begin work on The Hiding Place. Please keep us in prayer, won't you? Well, that wraps up this month's edition of Cornerstone Presents for the month of February. For more information, you can log on to www.cornerstonearts.com. But for now, 
Just keep us in prayer as we begin a new work of outreach for the month of March. So, for Cornerstone Presents, I'm Richard Montes.